डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलम दिस इज द वीडियो ऑफ पार्ट टू यूनिट फिफ्टीन पोएम अबू बिन एदम आई गेव यू द एक्सप्लेशन ऑफ द पोएम इन पार्ट वन नाउ इन पार्ट टू अगेन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द पोएम विल बी डिस्कस नाउ इन द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन पार्ट देर आर सिक्स क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई वॉज अबू बिन एदम्स नेम ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द लिस्ट now whenever you start answering questions the first thing that you are going to write is reference to the context different questions come in your board exams and for them every question has different uh, beginning because it's from different chapters so when you start you will first of all write reference to the context this question has been taken from the poem abu bin adam written by lee hunt after that you will answer this uh, question which is abu bin adam was a great philanthropist philanthropist is a person who helps others his name was on the top of the list because he loved his fellow men he loved the creatures of god he served himself as the servant of humanity therefore his name came on the top of the list now there's question 2 which says what is the main idea of the poem again we'll start in the same way we'll start uh, with reference to the context this question has been taken from the poem Abu bin Adam, which is a unit fifteen of your book and has been written by Lee Hunt. I'll start with the explanation of the second question. What is the main idea of the poem? The main idea of the poem, Abu bin Adam, is that we should love our fellow human beings. Allah loves the one who loves his creatures. The person who is good and sympathetic to mankind will win the love of God. Now we have uh, next is our question number three. which is describe the character of abu bin adam in your own words again same thing reference we start with the explanation in lee hunt's poem the character of abu bin adam is a simple yet charming one he seems to be a man of calm and composed nature in the first place composure bin adam is bold and rather straight forward the questions he asks the angel shows that only people with the simplest mind can ask them so easily to a stranger he is very humble and respectful and last but not the least abu bin adam is a lover of the human race his name tops the god's list of people who love god actually his love for his fellow men is greater than the others love for god it is said to love man is to love god and abu bin adam has proved it next is question number 4 which says write down the implied and explicit meanings of the poem again we start with the reference and then we uh, give the answer which is the explanation the explicit meaning of the poem is that abu bin adam loved his fellow men by this god became happy and made abu bin adam his favorite person so his name was put on the top of those people's list whom god had blessed his love The implied meaning of the poem shows that this poem is disclosing the importance of God's creatures. A person who loves his creatures and forgets his own self for others will receive a great reward and will be loved by Almighty Allah. Next is question number five. Mention the other words used by the poet to refer to the angel. Answer: The other words used by the poet to refer to the angel are vision and presence. Question six. give brief description of the angel in abu bin adam again the answer will begin with the same heading reference to the context then explanation the angel was the second character in the poem abu bin adam it was very beautiful and looked like a lily in bloom the angel had a golden book in which it was writing the names of the people who were blessed by the love of god now the next thing that we must do in this poem is paraphrasing the first stanza is abu bin adam may his tribe increase awoke one night from a deep dream of peace and saw within the moonlight in his room making it rich and like a lily in bloom an angel writing in a book of gold now the first thing that you will write with each stanza is name of the poem abu bin adam name of the poet lee hunt paraphrasing abu bin adam may his tribe increase awoke one night from a deep peaceful dream of sleep dream he was dreaming while he was sleeping he found an angel in the moonlight in his room that made his room beautiful like a lily 
when it is in full bloom the angel was writing something in a golden book this is stanza 1 next is stanza 2 exceeding peace had made been adam bold and to the presence in his room he said what writest thou the vision raised its head and with a look made of all sweet accord answered the names of those who love the lord now paraphrasing again first thing that you will write is name of poem abu bin adam name of poet lee hunt then paraphrasing the peaceful circumstances made abu bin adam courageous and he asked the angel which was in his room that what that he what was he writing in the book the angel raised its head and with an agreeable look answered that it was writing the names of those people who loved their lord next is stanza 3 and is mine one said abu bin said abu nay not so replied the angel abu spoke more low but cheerily still and said i pray thee then write me as one that loves his fellow men again you will write the name of the poem and then write the name of the poet start with the paraphrasing abu bin adam asked the angel whether his name was written there in the book the angel replied that his name was not written abu bin adam humbly and happily requested the angel to write his name in the list of the people who loved human beings last stanza the angel wrote and vanished the next night it came again with a great wakening light and showed the names whom love of god had blessed and lo bin adam's name led all the rest again name of the poem name of the poet and then explanation the angel wrote abu's name and disappeared the next night it came again in his room with the same wakening light it showed abu bin adam the names of those people who were blessed by the love of god and abu bin adam's name was in the top of the list now another important question that comes in the exams is passage comprehension first stanza i'll start with that abu bin adam may his tribe in crease awoke one night from a deep dream of peace and saw within the moonlight in his room making it rich and like a lily in bloom an angel writing in a book of gold first question is what did abu bin adam see in his room the answer is abu bin adam saw an angel in his room next question explain the meaning of deep dream of peace the phrase deep dream of peace means a real peace peaceful dream it also refers to a deep meditative state question 3 how could abu have peace he was at peace as he loved and served his fellow men this has be has to be answered in past tense next is what is the effect of moonlight in abu bin adam's room the bright silvery moonlight in abu's room on a peaceful night has a magical effect the room has appeared rich and calm question 5 why is moonlight compared to a lily in bloom the comparison is made to reflect the similarities between blossoming lilies and the sparkling moonlight both are natural beautiful and pleasing to the eyes question 6 what does abu bin adam encounter upon awakening answer when abu bin adam wakes up he finds an angel writing something in a book of gold question 7 what is meant by making it rich the phrase making it rich means making the room beautiful next stanza exceeding peace had made bin adam bold and to the presence in the room he said what writest thou the vision raised its head and with a look of look made of all sweet accord answered the names of those who love the lord now the first question is what has made abu bold exceeding peace had made abu bold what is meant by the presence and the vision the words presence and the vision means angel who woke up from his de- who woke abu from his deep dream of peace what does the vision raise why does the vision raise its head the vision raises its head to answer abu's query about what was he writing in his book of gold next question what does the angel tell abu in the above extract the angel tells abu that he is writing in his book the names of those who love the lord question 5 What does the word accord mean? The word accord means agreement. Question six: Who asked what writest thou? Abu bin Adam asked, "What writest thou?" Stanza three: And is mine one? Said Abu, "Nay, not so." Replied the angel. Abu spoke more low, but cheerily still, and said, "I pray thee, then write me as one that loves his fellow men." First question. 
what does abu ask for abu ask for his name whether it is in the list of those who love the lord what makes abu low speak low the angel replied abu in negative which made him speak a little low he became sad what is meant by spoke more low it means abu spoke humbly question 4 does abu feel disheartened at the angel's reply abu feels a little low but only for a moment the word cheerily tells us this that he was again feeling hopeful What does Abu cheerily request? Abu cheerily requests the angel to write his name as the one who loves his fellow men. Question six: Who was Abu bin Adam? Abu bin Adam, also called Ibrahim ibn Adam or Ibrahim Balki, was one of the most prominent of the early ascetic Sufi saints. Stanza four: The angel wrote and vanished. The next night it came again with a great wakening light and showed the names. of whom love of god and lo ben adam's name led all the rest question 1 what did the angel write the angel wrote abu's name as the one who loves his fellow men question 2 what happened the next night the next night the angel came again with a great amount of light and woke abu question 3 what did the angel show the angel showed him the names of those on whom love of god had been bestowed Question four: Where was Abu's name? Abu bin Adam's name appeared on the top of the list ahead of others. What is meant by low? The word low means look. Question six: Explain. And low bin Adam's name led all the rest. This is the last line of the poem. The angel appears the next night and with a new set of names of the people who have been blessed by God with bin Adam's name on the top of the list. What is the theme of the poem? The poem Abu bin Adam depicts that true devotion to God is found in love for humanity. Now this is very important. It is the only thing that when we love our fellow men we become worthy to be loved by God.